It is Wednesday, June 12th, about 9.30 in the morning. And I wanted to talk a little bit about this upcoming campaign that I am beginning on Saturday, uh, June 15th. 30 days, just let go. First and foremost, this is for me. This is very much for me. I am absolutely hoping, and I think I will, inspire others in this time frame. And that's, my, that's one of many intentions as well. But the first, first goal is to give myself 30 days, 30 days of practicing all the new habits, all the new habits together, all in a row, focused, and I believe this is going to be a little experiment. And I don't know if you can generalize out too much into the population using me as an example, but just believe me when I tell you it's one more part of a very big experiment that my wife has become. Willingly, willingly, I am absolutely testing the power of our beliefs and specifically the belief in unlimited, unlimited opportunities, unlimited creations, unlimited in terms of what we can create for a world to live in. And it's working. It's absolutely working. But not yet observable to a lot of other folks. Even those that are closest to it here. It, when I say it's going to take a lot more than words, I really mean it. This isn't going to be a Reader's Digest story. This isn't, there are no cliff notes. There are a lot of angles, a lot of avenues. I've got a lot of things in the works that are serving as evidence of this greater experiment. But what I've discovered is that I'm so new, so new, I'm basically at the end of my transition story and the beginning of my new story. My new story quite simply being following my heart, living in peace, being happy, completely fulfilled, absolutely being the only one that needs to validate me. Tremendous, tremendous growth on every level. All rooted in what you have to call, what I can only call, a spiritual awakening. And if that loses some people, okay, I guess it loses you. That's okay. There's no judgment. This is very much, very much rooted in the power of what is beyond us. And the power of what is inside us, our thoughts, that's some heavy stuff to overcome. That's some really, really hard to rewire your brain. If you've been doing certain things or telling yourself certain messages for a long time, less than three years ago, and as part of the campaign, I'm going to be sharing with you my journals, right? Well, I got many journals right there. I'm going to show you with old entries, two things over the next 30 days. One, how flippin' far I've come in a very short period of time. You'll see how low I was as recently as September 
Oh gosh, no, you know, I mean, I even had a really bad January, January of 2011. I mean, we're talking really, really recent. All of that was that, all the shift. There's a big transition. You have to allow yourself time in your old story and new story to recalibrate. You have to give yourself that space and time. And I guess it depends how drastically different your two stories are. In my case, I'm telling you, you are only seeing the tip of the iceberg. Nobody in my life, not even my, fa not my family, not my friends that have been the closest to this in the past seven months here in Sarasota, nobody knows all that I've got in motion. And that's okay. It's completely okay. And I'm going to unravel it however, however long it takes in whatever way. But in order for me to do that to the best of my capabilities, I have to get solid in my new habits. Things that I have found that resonate as truth for me. Things that make sense for me in living in the world the best way possible. What I put into my body. Drinking a gallon of water a day on days where I can. Eating mostly raw, all vegan, as much as I can. Not 100%. It doesn't, you know, don't go extreme. And again, you got to find what's true for you. Meditating. Lots of meditating. I still have a lot of balancing to do with myself personally. Uh, yoga, stretching, exercising, uh, journaling, reading. I have a whole list of things. It's going to be actually my third book. Um, my first two books are all are set. This will be the third book, this writing and keeping track specifically of these 30 days. And you all are going to get to see on the website what, how paying attention to those things for 30 days straight, those habits, how that's going to affect my work. Because it will. It absolutely will. I mean, I, I can already feel it. I sort of... I started a week before to, you know, like I coffee, I had to cut off coffee, which wasn't a big thing for me, but a habit nonetheless that I know isn't, isn't good. The caffeine is not good. Um, and again, I'm trying to have as much natural things going through my body. So I've been, you know, four days now um, easing myself into what will be a very disciplined 30 days. And I can't believe how easy it is. That's just it, folks. Anything that you have to work that hard for, step back. It's not time for it. Step back. The tough thing is, is that I know a lot in our lives, we don't have that space, right? We have deadlines. We have, you know, things we have to do by certain times, to-do lists. And that is why I'll say it again. I've always known my whole life that it was bigger than us. That was instilled in me, not through my Catholic upbringing, not at all really. That in fact turned me off to everything spiritual, the Catholic upbringing, if I'm going to be honest. And if you're Catholic, you shouldn't take offense to that. I'm not attacking you personally. I'm being honest with it's, it didn't move me. In fact, it made me feel quite the opposite. But my parents, my parents, man, they absolutely made it crystal clear that really our job was to utilize, the, as their words, to utilize the gifts that God gave us. And to remember that it's more than just us. How many people my age, how many people in their late 30s don't have a family, don't have a significant other, 
don't have a mortgage. Don't, I'm not, I don't own a lot of stuff. And up until I, I, up until this company and the launching of my business, I didn't have any debt. Now I've got quite a bit of debt, but I consciously incurred it. Consciously incurred it. And I know some that are aware of how and what I've invested in and how I've done it. Some people are really, you know, uncomfortable and, and fearful for me and worried for me. Not at all worried. Don't, don't have to be worried at all. First of all, yes, I invested in a number of people. But what I've realized in the past couple of weeks as I fully clicked into gear, fully clicked into myself for the first time, that that was an investment in me. 